Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Bobby here. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, off of the, uh, off coming coming fresh off of a fresh, uh, a nice uh, co-hosted Facebook Live last night with my boy Rob DeBoer. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And so, uh, you know, it wasn't perfect, right? I, you know, I didn't, I, I wasn't, I wasn't um, overly excited about my performance. Rob did great. Um, but I'm back at it today. Ooh, what's up? What's up, Willie Parker? What's up? What's up, boy? Uh, threw me off, man. How you doing, man? So today's topic, guys, I'm right back on, on the horse, right? When, when, when you make mistakes, when you don't do uh, as well as you like, right, Squeaky? You get right back to it, right? So I'm back to it today, guys, even though yesterday wasn't the greatest of, of uh, performances by myself, I'm back at it. So today's topic, right, we're going to talk about decision-making. Right. And how wherever you're at in your life, you decided to be here. Right. And so all of us whine and complain about whatever in our life is not perfect. Right. If you're overweight, you decided to be overweight. Right. If you are broke and aren't financially where you want to be, you decided to be broke and not financially where you want to be. If your relationships aren't where they want to be, guess what? You decided to make your relationship what it is, right? So how is that, coach? Why are you saying that to me? Why are you making Today going to be a real talk day, guys, real talk Friday, right? So here's how it works, guys. Every moment of our day, we make decisions, right? And, and those decisions culminate, right? Next week, next month, next year, in 10 years, into something, right? So we are the result, the culmination, the aggregate of all the decisions we make in life. Right. So you are you aren't you aren't overweight today because of what you did today. Right. You're overweight because of the decisions you made for the last 10, 20 years. You aren't broke today. Right. Because of what you did today. You're broke because of the culmination of decisions you made over 10, 20, 30 years, probably. Right. So the thing about it is and why it's so challenging is that the decisions are always between two things we equally enjoy. Right, that's the problem. That's why it's challenging. That's why it's not easy to lose weight or be fit. That's why it's not easy to be to be financially stable or even wealthy. That's why it's not easy to have a good relationship with your children or your spouse. That's why it's not easy to get a good a, a degree or to become a doctor or to play at a high level in sports. It's not easy because every moment along the journey requires a decision you make, right? Between sleeping in and going to work out between going to party and staying home and studying, between spending time with your daughter or your son or hanging out with your buddies, right? So the problem is we oftentimes want to blame everything else but ourselves for our decisions we made, right? So what happens is, is, is you decide today to sleep in and not get up, right? Because you decided that's more important or that's better. Right. They're both they're, they're, they're both beneficial. Right. If I didn't want to be fit. Right. Then sleeping in will be easy. The reason it's problematic and bothers you is because you want both. You want to sleep in and you want to be fit. You want to eat hamburgers and you want to be thin. You want to hang out with your buddies and you want a good uh, relationship with your wife or your, or your kids. Right. You want to get a degree, but you want to also play a lot. Right. You want to you want to you want to want to study and be a doctor, but you also want to play what, you know, 2K, whatever it is. Right. So what happens is, is we have to forego immediate pleasure for long term benefit. So it boils down to right. We have to forego immediate pleasure for long term benefit. Right. So in the moment when the alarm goes off, the immediate pleasure is hitting snooze. Right. And sleeping in in your warm, cozy bed. Right. The problem is, is right now that body you want is too far away. The immediate desire is to sleep in and the inability for us to see that in the future is what causes us problems. Right. We all want to be rich. Right. But the problem is in this moment, I want those boots or that purse or those new Nikes or whatever it is. So in the moment. I, I, the, the pleasure, the immediate pleasure is buying what I want right now. That Starbucks, those shoes, that purse, that watch, whatever it is, right? So when you, when you do that over and over again, guess what? In 10 years, you're broke. And you say, I don't like being broke. Yes, you do. 
You decided to be broke the whole time. Last 10 years, all those decisions you made along the way to buy shoes, to buy purses, to buy the new video game, all those were a decision to have fun in the immediate and forego pleasure in the long run. Right? All those times you were out with your buddies and they said, have a beer, have a, have a, have a, have a hamburger. Right? All those times the, the, the alarm went off and you slept in. That was immediate pleasure. Sure, now you want to be fit. We all want to be fit now. Right? But the decisions you made the last 10 years all told, you told yourself you wanted that more than you wanted to be fit. It's that fucking simple. I know it seems, I know it seems complicated, but it's not. Right? The reason I, I am where I am today and not financially stable is because I too made decisions along the way that weren't beneficial. Right, T-Mac? Right? So, so if you're overweight, that's on you. If you broke, that's on you. If you have a, a, a bad relationship with your children, that's on you. Own it. Own up to it. Admit it. Right? And so only then can you fix it. Because guess what, guys? Guess what now? The, 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 the body you want in five years starts today. Right? The money you have in your, in, in your bank account in five years starts today. Right? What you and your daughter have or you and your son have or you and your wife or husband have starts today. So, yes, you got here by a culmination of decisions you made over the last 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Right? But, but you, 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 you can lament it all you want. You can cry all you want. Right? But what you can do is today. Right? Right, Jenny? Today, start a new path. Right? A new habit of better decision making. So that in 10 years, in five or 10 years from now, right, you have a better body. You have a better financial condition. You have a better relationship with your children and your spouse, right? Because now you begin to make better decisions. As simple as that, right? I always tell my son, you know, about training and my daughter about, about doing things. Everybody wants a nice body when you're in Hawaii. That's easy. Right When you go to Hawaii in July or you go to Cancun in June, we all want the nice body there. All of us do. I want a nice body, coach. I know we all do. The trick is you have to want that body six months earlier, one year earlier. Right? We all want a nice car, a nice house, and the Bible we want to buy. Right? In the moment. Right? You have to want that a year earlier, two years earlier, three years earlier. Right? So that's how it is. Every day, like Jen, Jenny just said, every day is a new opportunity, right, to change your decision making. Right? And it's not going to be easy because you you're, you're, you have two, two things that you enjoy. Right? You have the hamburger and fries, which you love. But you also have the body you want, which you love. The problem is this is in the future. Right? In economics, we call it time value of money. Right? So the value of that is too far away. And so you have to be able to see that, right? And make decisions based on what you want. And we do it all the time. When you go, when you go for a vacation in August or June, you begin saving for it. Now, when you want to buy a house, you save money, right? You don't go to Starbucks as often. You don't buy the shoes you like as often. You don't go out to dinner as often, right? So we have the ability to do that. All we have to do is translate that into other areas of our lives, like fitness, right? So, so, so the body you want is achievable, but only by the decisions you make daily, right? Weekly, monthly, right? So if you do that, if you approach it that way, right? If you approach it that way, I mean, I've, I've always lived this way, better than yesterday, BTY. If anybody knows me from when I was eight or 12 or 14 or 16, I didn't call it BTY, but I've always lived with that mantra that I'm going to make a decision today that gets me better, right? Today, right? In hopes that I'll have what I want in 10 years, in 20 years, right? Is it always perfect? No, right? Is it always trying to figure out what's going on? Yes, Trying to fix it? Yes. Right? But but it starts with you admitting that where you're at has nothing to do with the girl next door, nothing to do with your boss, nothing to do with your kids or your wife. It's you. It's you. Right? You decided to be overweight. You did. How? All the times you slept in. All the times you overate. All the times you did whatever that wasn't healthy. You decided that. Nobody made you stay in bed. Nobody made you eat that, eat that pizza. Or, or fries or hamburger. Nobody made you, right? So if you have a, a have a have a low paying job, 
That's on you. You decided that. Nobody told you to, to, to not study, to leave school early, to not give it, give it your all when you were in college and drop out. Nobody told you that. You decided that. Right? Don't blame anybody for, for you and your son not connecting or you and your daughter not connecting. You decided that. Right? When she wanted to hang out with you, you decided to do work instead. When your son wanted to shoot hoops, you decided to sit on the couch and watch television. That was you. Not him. Not your neighbor. Not your boss. That was you. Right? So stop making excuses about where you're at. Right? Own it. I ain't perfect. Right? But what I do do is I accept what I did. And where I'm at and why I'm there. Right? And the beauty of it is you can change today. Right? The path you're on can change today. Right? With better decisions. With a commitment to getting better. Will you fall off sometimes? Of course you will. But you admit it and you fix it. Right? Right? So, so you know, my, my whole life I've, I've been afraid of, of, of speaking. Right? I grew up stuttering. And I talked fast. I still talk fast. Right? Do I cry about it? Do I whine about it? Do I blame people about it? No. No. What I do is I go to Toastmasters to speak better. I, I take every opportunity to speak on videos to get better at. When I screw up, what do I do? I get back on the camera and do it again. That's what I do. Right? When I was working out when I was younger and I was still skinny for, for a decade almost, that I quit? Did I blame anybody? No. I decided the next day to try again. Right? And now, 20 years later, 30 years later, Right now, I look better. I ain't perfect. I look better though. Right, I speak better. Right, I'm more confident. Right, I decided to be better than yesterday. Simple as that. So I I decide every day to be better than yesterday. It's that simple. And when you and when and when you don't, you're deciding to be worse than yesterday. You're deciding to be fatter than yesterday. I'll say it. You're deciding to be broker than yesterday. You're deciding to have a worse relationship than yesterday because you decided not to move forward, not to get better. So by default, you're deciding to get worse. Right? So don't blame anybody else. Right? Blame yourself. Right? Own it. Right? And then get better from it. And then move forward from it. Right? So it's always a new start. It's always another game. That's the beauty of life, the beauty of sports. It's always another game. I have a saying, whether you lose by 20 or 30 or 2 or 4, it's one game. And tomorrow you get up and do it again. If you win, it's the same thing. Tomorrow you get up and do it again. Right? Success is never owned. It's always leased. Right? And the rent is due every freaking day, I say. Every day it's due. Right? And so the same is, same is true on the other side. If you, if you have come this far and you're not where you want to be, right, because of what you decided to do along the way, just change how you decide to do things. Just change your decision making going forward. All right? So decide today, Friday, March 15th, decide today to stop making excuses, to stop blaming everybody else for where you're at, to own it, and decide today Decide right now going forward that every day you're trying to be better than you were yesterday. All right, guys? So that's it. That was a short one. Ooh, I'm trying to get better at that. Um, enjoy your weekend, right? You can be great. You are great. God made you great. We forgot how great we are along the way. And so all we got to do is decide to be better starting now. All right, guys? Have a good day. I will talk to you guys. I'm sure pretty soon here, but enjoy your weekend. Hey, Jerry, um, be safe and get some exercise. Try to try to work out, try to build relationships and be better. Be better. Thank you, Jenny. Um, have a good weekend, guys. Love you. BTY.